In this product update, I want to tell you about the new progress reporting features in Purdue. And that's important because if there's one thing that will help you turn goals into actual results, it's progress reporting. That's why the new reporting features in Purdue make sure that everyone in your company keeps working towards the strategy and that they regularly report progress on their goals. That's what creates that focus and accountability that so many of our customers are looking for. And that's again important to help you turn your ambitions into reality. Progress reporting can be customized to the specific needs of your organization. You do that by going here into configure. And by the way, you do need to have super administrator rights in order to access configure. And then here on the general tab, you would go to progress reporting. Now here you see that you can customize it at user level as well as at team level. In our case at Purdue, we ask our people to report their progress once a week. So we have the frequency here set to weekly, but you can change that to every two weeks or monthly. Then Purdue can send out update reminders. In our case, we send them out two days before at 8 a.m. in our local time. So no one has to actively remind themselves to report their progress. We also ask our people to provide a broader update on how their week has been next to the progress that they've been making on their goals. We call this the user review. We ask our people, what did you work on this week? What will you focus on next? And do you have any blockers or observations? Now these questions you can change and if you don't wanna work with reviews, you can also just toggle that off from here. At team level, it works slightly different. At team levels, we have the frequency, frequency set to monthly. We ask our teams to report their progress once a month, and we have si slightly different questions for the team's review. We ask teams to share what were their wins and observations from that month, and what were their challenges. Now, as a manager, the following day, you can get such a report. And this is the report that I received for week 43. Here you see Nicole and Roman both report to me. I can see when they submitted their last progress report. I can see their polls, if that's a feature that you have enabled, whether or not they've added a review and how many goals they updated. Now, when I click here on review progress report, then that will take me straight to that progress report from that direct report of mine in Purdue. So here is another example from Nick Fisher. Nick Fisher is the head of sales. He also reports to me. This was his progress report for week 43. Here I can see his review for that week. I can see his polls. Again, that's if, if you have that feature enabled. And then here further down, I can see exactly how much progress he's been making on his goals. I can see how his KPI statuses have changed that week. I can see what for each KPI, I can see what was progress at the beginning of the week and what was the status and what was progress at the end of the week and what was the status. If he or she added a comment, I will be able to see that here. If I have any questions, because this goal, for example, it turned unhealthy that week. I see there is a comment here from the lead. If I do have another question, I would like to know more information. I simply click here on reply and that allows me to ask for more information, for example. And of course, if I add a reply here, then this person will also be notified about my comment. It's the same for OKRs. Here further down, you'll see the OKRs. Uh, you can show or hide the, the associated key results and initiatives. Um, and this allows you to easily stay up to date on how your direct reports are progressing. If you think all is going fine, you can leave a comment. Uh, I always let my people know that I reviewed the progress report and whether or not I think they are doing fine. And you see that here, in this case, I left a comment. It's the same for teams. Uh, so also for teams, you can get an update. Uh, this was an email that I got for September, 2024. Here I can see all the teams that I'm a member of and or the teams that I have favorited. Um, I can see whether or not they added a team review, how many goals they updated, what the overall progress is. So basically you don't need to log in to Purdue anymore to stay on top of your direct reports and stay, up the, uh, stay on top of the teams that are important to you. Uh, and again, if I click here on review progress report, then that will take me straight to the latest progress report of that team in Purdue. So here's an example from the sales team. This, was, this is the report for October, 2024. Here I can see the review from the team lead. I can see exactly how the KPIs have changed. I see the comments if there are any, and I can see exactly how the KPIs have progressed. So that's how the new progress reporting in Purdue works. We believe it's very powerful and we're very eager for you, uh, eager for you to try it out for yourself.